So if you didn't have access to a third party plugin or other applications that can indicate what the loudness level is and if it's passable on different platforms, there's a free website called loudnesspenalty.com. And what this does, it will allow you to know if your sound is gonna distort or if different platforms will need to increase the loudness or lower it, it'll, it'll let you know. So you're gonna select your file here. I'm gonna choose the demo recording file that we just made. It's gonna process it and it'll let me know. It'll be red if it's gonna distort anywhere and we're all clear. So it's saying in YouTube, it's not gonna do anything to it. Uh, Amazon Music's not gonna make any changes. If I was to try to upload this to Pandora, what Pandora would try to do is boost it by six decibels. If I were to try to upload it to Spotify, it's gonna say Spotify needs to boost it by 3.8 decibels and so on and so forth. So this is a really good indicator to let you know a starting point of what you need to adjust depending on what platform you're gonna distribute it on. So keep that in mind when you're editing. You may wanna make different mixes for different projects. So if I'm releasing this podcast to Spotify and also to iTunes, I would have one that's 3.8 decibels louder and one that's five decibels louder. So it's important to keep that in mind when you're mixing. You may need to make different variations for the different platforms that you're distributing it on. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video series and this helped you out creating your own podcast. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I can try to troubleshoot and clarify any other things that you may have, any questions, concerns, etc. All right, you guys, have a good one.